guys, today we are going to turn this into this. Hey guys, it's Justin with Texas Magnolia Home, and on my channel I do DIY projects, home decor hauls, and home renovation updates on our own personal fixer-upper here in South Texas. Now in this video, I'm going to teach you guys how to create DIY drop cloth curtains as well as custom wood curtain rods made out of wood corbels. Alright guys, let's get on into this video. Okay, here is a list of items that you will need to recreate this look. First off, you will need two drop cloths. Now, I picked these up from Home Depot. It will depend on your window size, but I got the six foot by nine foot, and I believe these were $10 a piece. Next item you'll need is two wood corbels that I picked up from Home Depot, and these were $10 a piece, and what we'll end up doing later on the video is modifying these to make our custom curtain rods. Next are these black metal two inch hooks that we will use to hang the drop cloth curtains from and I picked these up on Amazon and I'll make sure down below links to all these items. And our last main item is a one and one quarter inch wood dowel. Now this will also depend on your window size depending on the spread that you need. The only other items that you will need in this project is any type of paint or stain needed to recreate this look. I ended up using a dark walnut stain on our wood dowel and then painted our wood corbels the same color as our trim in our house which is pure white by Sherwin Willing. Now the last few tools that you will need for this project is a level then you will need a measuring tape as well as a one and a half inch cut out this will be used to modify the wood corbels as well as a drill. Alright guys let's get on into this project. Okay guys, so first thing is first, you want to go ahead and put your drop cloths in the washing machine because it can be going as we are working on our project. So when our project is finished and we are ready to put up the drop cloth curtains, they will already be done. Now one thing to note to make sure to do is do it on a heavy cycle like towel load in your washing machine to break them up and create them to be less stiff. Then when you go ahead and dry them, what I'm going to do is put them on a towel dry and then following that do a wrinkle free dry to really loosen up these drop cloths. I've already done it once in a different room and the results were were great. Alright guys, so now that our drop cloths are in the washing machine, washing and drying, what we are going to do is paint and stain. So I decided to stain our one and a quarter inch wood dowel with this Minwax dark walnut color. Then what I'm going to do is put two coats of our trim paint, which is pure white by Sherwin Williams, on our corbels. Now you could also do this by staining this or painting this a different color. You don't have to follow these steps exactly like me, but I would recommend putting on two coats. Then what we will do in this next step is cut out the corbels and then just do a little bit of touching up in staining or painting. Alright guys, so now we're going to pull out our drill and our cutout. So what I'm kind of doing is lining this up and kind of eyeballing it. Basically you want, you can place this wherever you want in the corbel. So I'm keeping it about a half inch away from the edge, trying to even it up the best that I can. But this is kind of one of those eyeball projects. It does not have to be perfect. The only thing that does have to be perfect is here in a second. What we are going to do is I am going to line up the cut out corbel to the still whole corbel and line it up with each other. That way that the holes are exactly the same for each corbel. So here I did, I just stacked it on top of the corbel. Now I'm going to take out my cutout, stick it through, and kind of just mark a hole. That's basically all you want to do is just mark where you're going to be cutting it out from. So once I get it lined up, I'm just going to cut through on this one. And yeah, basically besides that, all I'm going to do here towards the end once I get the cutout is kind of get the little flakes off and then I will take my touch up brush or my paint brush and a little bit of paint. Now if you were doing this stain all you would have to do is touch it up with a little bit of a sand with your sander go back in with some cheesecloth and uh your stain and touch it up but all i have to do here is just touch it up with a little bit of paint okay guys here comes the next part but i do want to say this if you are working with drywall as far as your uh, interior walls 
what you'll want to do is when you buy these corbels, they actually come with two screws and two anchors. So what you would do is just put in your screws, your anchors, and then hang your corbel where you want them. But it's a little bit different for us. We have a 90 year old home, so we have a pitch railing that's original to the house that it goes all around our room. So what I'm gonna have to do is cut out a two and a quarter inch a little piece right here to put our corbel butt up against it and it'll go flush with this farmhouse room as well as what we're gonna do, instead of using the hardware, we're just gonna put some adhesive glue on the backhand side. I'll take uh, some 16 gauge uh, nails and uh, pierce them in all the way around and then it'll work just the same. So either way, this might be an extra step if you have drywall that you won't have to do and it'll save you a little bit of time. All right, let's keep going. So like I said guys, basically all I am doing here is marking my picture railing two and a quarter inches because that is the width of our corbel. So basically I am just going to take this all, cut my cutout marks and take out this piece of trim. So basically all I have to do is slide my corbel in with a little bit of adhesive glue on the back of it and then I will take my nail gun, tack it up until the glue sets and then it should be rock solid. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to do is I added the pieces to the back side of here and I'm going to place it in the place that it goes. Make sure that we're level with our trim, left and right, right there. Then I'm going to press and get my nail gun. And that's about it. Okay, so the next thing that we are going to do is lay out our drop cloths to create our drop cloth curtains. Now, I'm gonna show you guys how to do it in a pleated way, but if you didn't wanna do that, all you would have to do is take your curtain rings, attach them evenly across the top of the new created curtains, and then put them up on your curtain rods. All right, guys, now for a little bit of measuring. So I wanted this overhang on our drop cloth curtains as well as creating pleats. So what I did is I put up my wood dowel, put up one ring on the curtain rods themselves and measured from the floor to the bottom of the ring where the clamp is. And I figured out that I had 91 inches and I added an extra two inches to create a little drapery effect on the floor. So now I'm adding in seven pleats per panel using the ring. So I wanted an inch and a half pleat that I'm measuring out and I'm gonna start on each end. So once I finish this end, I am going to go to the other side and add another ring on the other side with the same inch and a half pleat. Once we get the two end pleats created with the clamps, we will find the center of the drop cloth curtain and basically you will pinch it and then add an inch and a half to that and add in your middle ring. Once you do that, all you have to do is add two rings on either side of this middle pleat and basically you're just spacing it out evenly. It's not that hard, it's not that difficult and it doesn't have to be perfect. All right, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure to leave me a comment down below letting me know what you guys think. All right, guys, here we go. And that's about it guys for this DIY drop cloth curtain tutorial. All the products will be linked in the description box down below. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, you'll probably want to make sure you subscribe because in the month of January, I have tons planned. I'm even going to teach you guys how to put up sliding barn door hardware as well as barn doors. If you like this video, make sure to give me a big thumbs up. And until next time, bye guys. Mm -hmm.